Hey guys, in this video I want to make a quick tutorial on how to set up the fingerprint sensor on your new Galaxy A5 or the Galaxy A7 uh, 2016 model. So these uh, two models come with the fingerprint sensor uh, while the A3 doesn't have the fingerprint sensor. So I'm going to make the, a combined video showing you guys that pretty easily. So um, going into settings, oops, let's see here. Okay, so when you go into settings, you can scroll down to the option where you see lock screen and security. You want to go there and you get the option of screen lock type. And at the uh, second loss option, we have the fingerprint uh, option here, fingerprints. So uh, when you first boot up your phone, you can set up the fingerprint sensor there when you are going through the setup. Uh, but if you miss that, you can do it uh, by going to the settings and then, you know, screen and uh, lock screen and security, then screen lock type. So here we have the fingerprint sensor. Um, let's see here, confirm. Now it says place your finger on a home key uh, and lift it off, then repeat. OK, so look at how fast it is. So you have to keep doing it, you know, place your finger, then lift it, then again, place your finger. Oops. And, you know, kind of move it a little bit. And of course, I think you can uh, register up to five fingerprints. So it says at least six characters, uh, including at least one letter and one number. So I'm going to enter that password. So see here and it also says confirm the backup password I mean it's very really, very important you know uh, when your device boots up you have to first unlock it using the password so it also says show content or not now this is uh, the part where of course some of you don't want to have your you know messages being shown on the lock screen so you can just uh, set this option or this option but if you're okay if you want to see all your notification on the lock screen and why not so set it on the show content here and uh, click done and that's it uh, you'll have a fingerprint security on on your phone you can't use swipe or anything like that it says use fingerprint to unlock and that's how it works so that is pretty fast I think let's try it out again Okay, I think it does take some time. I mean, I'm, I'm really used to my Nexus uh, 6P. Uh, that's why I think maybe I am getting a little bit slow response. But, but yeah, it's cool. So the same way you can set the fingerprint sensor on your Samsung Galaxy A7. So it's not uh, nothing different. It's just pretty much same. So yeah, I'm going to make a separate video. Might make a separate video doing the fingerprint sensor speed also speed comparison. So make sure you subscribe for all the cool videos that will you will see pretty soon. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.